going on guys? Well, I finally got a chance to do a little backpacking trip. A simple overnighter, just one night, but this summer has been absolutely busy. I haven't been able to get as many hikes in as I wanted to, and it's just been, it's been crazy. So, I got a free night, gonna take it, gonna go do some backpacking. Only problem is, it's about 6 o'clock, and I got probably an hour before the sun goes over the mountain over there. So, I got two miles to go to my destination, so I'm gonna have to get moving. Shouldn't be too bad. My loadout today is 14 pounds, and that's everything. Food, water, my camera gear, fishing gear, 14 pounds. So I'm going to have to get moving, so I'm probably not going to film too much on the actual trail and get to my campsite. All right, man. Check in a little bit. Can't pass this up. Hmm. Yeah, three ways to go here. Let's check out that sign. All right. Well, that's the north loop. I want to take the south loop. Okay. After reading that map and double checking with this map, I do have to go this way. So, yes, eventually I'm going to head to the north loop, but I, I believe this is still the south loop. I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but there's a bunch of owls out there hooting. Last time I did a backpacking trip in the summer there uh, those guys kept me up all night oh well at least I got some company Now it is unfortunate, even though I'm in a state forest, that there's uh, power lines running right through the middle of it. But Well, I guess you really can't go anywhere without a touch of civilization kind of showing up here and there. I believe this is a, uh, an old foundation of a house. At some time or another. That's pretty cool. Right on the side of the trail. Here's another one. Many years ago, there was a house here. That other foundation was probably only about 20 feet back. That's pretty cool. Huh. 
and this was probably their well. Got the well there, little foundation. The other foundation was right over there. I'm not sure if this was like an old bridge or, uh, or maybe a dam, but it's pretty cool. So I reached the river and I've had quite a, a journey to get here. I was walking along the river and uh, you know, just trying to find a place because I want to camp right by the river here. Just looking for a decent spot and I came to like a, uh, a place where I just I couldn't go out into the river. There weren't rocks in it, so I had to go back up. And there's a huge hill so I'm climbing up and uh, going along and it gets really steep really steep all of a sudden my right foot goes up to my knee and instant reaction is to pull it and as soon as I pulled it I heard this sucking noise and that came up without a shoe so then my left foot you know I'm trying to brace that and put it on the rock and that starts sinking I'm like oh man this is not good so but needless to say I went up to my elbow dug my shoe out and uh, now they're just a little muddy. My pants have dried off. Huh? But uh, and that's one reason why I don't hike with waterproof shoes because if you get water on the inside, they ain't gonna dry out. And besides, your feet are gonna sweat, so they're gonna get wet anyway. So I just wear nice, breathable uh, trail running shoes. And these shoes actually are uh, Patagonia. A little bit dirty, but they only weigh uh, 22.3 ounces, so they are extremely lightweight. They are awesome. I love them. I've been using them all summer. So this looks like a pretty good spot. I just got to find a couple of trees to uh, hang the hammock. All right. Well, as you can tell, it's getting pretty dark. So I still haven't eaten. I got the hammock set up, but uh, I'm gonna get something to eat and uh, kind of relax. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Alrighty, well this is where I slept last night. Didn't bring a whole lot of gear on this trip. Just uh, basically got my, my hammock, tarp, and bug net. Uh, did bring a fishing pole. And this uh, fishing pole with the tackle, it's, I think it's 14 ounces. It's not too bad. But my Sorry, a squeeze for my water. I got just one liter of water. It's a box the pocket rocket. Pack towel. First aid kit. Brought an extra shirt. And here's my food bag, and that's about it. But yeah, this sleeping bag, this is the first time I actually used it. Um, since I purchased it. It's rated down to 36 degrees and I think I'll do that just fine. I was plenty warm. I slept without socks. Really nice bag. You know, it's only, you know, one pound, 10 ounces with a stuff sack, so. Got down to about 50 degrees last night. Wasn't too bad, but that's basically the limit with uh, my current setup without a uh, underquilt, so. If I want to continue to do any more hammock camping into the cooler weather, I'm going to have to pick one up. I still haven't yet. One of my shoes is dried out. The other one's still a little wet after I stepped in that uh, little sinkhole yesterday. That was kind of funny. Not really. But just cooking up some uh, hot chocolate here on the uh, MSR Pocket Rocket. And enjoying the, uh, the view. Just listening to the water and 
No birds are chirping yet. They were chirping last night, then they quieted down. Alrighty, well, I had my breakfast and I packed up the camp. And after looking around, I found this uh, sign that said fly fishing only. And there's a very popular uh, river to go fishing in for both salmon and trout. Uh, this time of year, you're only going to find trout. But I don't have a fly fishing rod and try to respect, you know, the sign. It, uh, it looks like it's about 50 years old, but like I said, it's a very popular place for uh, fishing. So I'm going to head upriver and uh, see if I can find a trail or something and uh, find a nice little spot to go fishing. Alrighty. Alright, well I found this old trail. It uh, doesn't appear to be marked. I haven't found any uh, little tags on the trees and uh, no blazes, but I'm just going to follow this and kind of see where it goes. This uh, state forest that I'm hiking in today is it's kind of small uh, as state forests go. It's only about 6,000 acres and I believe there's only about three trails that run through this particular area but uh, this trail's not in the map, so we'll, uh, we'll just kind of follow it and see where it goes. Well, this trail's taking me in the wrong direction. I believe it's an old horse trail, and it's not in the map. It's definitely not taking me anywhere close to the river. There's a, uh, a big drop off, probably about 200 feet to my left, and then the river's at the bottom. Um, maybe a total of 150 yards away. So the trail, it is kind of following the river, but it's not close enough, you know, for me to get in and, and see any spots to fish. So I'm going to head back up the way I came and maybe find a better spot. Well, I found this nice secluded spot. Don't look too bad. Do a little fishing over here. Well, I've been out here for about an hour or so, and I haven't even had a bite. The only thing I've snagged is a rock, so I guess a cliff bar will have to do for now. Alrighty, well, no luck fishing, but I am by no means a expert angler, <laughs> that's for sure. I go fishing a few times a year, sometimes I catch something, sometimes I don't. So, I got probably about three, three and a half miles till I uh, get back to my truck, as long as I can uh, find the trail that I was on, and uh, we'll see if I find anything uh, interesting along the way. So, alrighty, time to get back on the trail. old stone wall here. Must have been a farm back in the day. Well, I just stopped to take a little break here at the top of this hill and uh, probably got about a mile, maybe a little bit more to go. Then I'm back to uh, the pond and then from there it's probably, I don't know, a quarter mile to my truck. So, it's been a pretty good trip. It's nice and relaxing. It's nice just to get out and, and do it. just a little bit of hiking, set up camp, relax by the river, Woke up this morning 
and uh, just laid in the hammock and just kind of watched the uh, the river for about an hour and uh, got up did some camp chores and broke you know broke camp and did a little fishing it was nice and relaxing had a had a really good time so I uh, like I said you know this this year has been really busy I've only been out backpacking one other time this year and that was in uh, back in March I'm gonna stop rambling and start walking all right guys been a lot of cool rock formations along this trail it's uh it's pretty cool I'm uh I'm assuming I don't know but they're most likely uh from like a receding glacier uh, a couple hundred thousand years ago or whatever but uh, it's pretty cool every once in a while you just see this big pile of rocks that alrighty well I reached the pond and probably gonna do a little bit more fishing and after that uh be heading home so I just want to say uh, thank you to all my subscribers and thanks for watching. And if you guys have any questions about you know what's in my pack, um, just leave them in the uh, comments below and I'll answer them. I want to do a uh, what's in my pack video, but every time I go out backpacking, my setup is kind of tailored to where I'm going and for how long I'm going. So I've been you know kind of tossing ideas around about that. But uh, like I said, if you got a question, just leave it in the comments below. And thanks again for watching. Catch you later.